Okay, got popcorn, chocolate covered cookie dough bites, and two gallons bucket of diabetes inducing soda. I'm all set. Man, I would hate to be your primary care physician. I'd hate being my wallet. I mean, 35 bucks? <sighs> Where'd we leave off before intermission? Let's see, you got the golden ticket that summoned you, me, Tower Girl, Tapford, and Sir Phineas to the great movie ride. We have arrived at the front door. Christopher Walken did Christopher Walken, and now we're about to meet the mysterious Mr. Hinkle. All right, start up the projector, Reese. In the 21st century, we call it the Blu-ray player. Okay, Mr. Silly Bear. <sighs> Things I have to put up with. Here he comes. Salutations, Tuptian Company, I presume? In the flesh. I believe introductions are in order. I am Correcticus Buster Hinkle the Third, but they call me Mr. Tibbs. They do? Well, you can call me Doc for short. After all, you should see the flux capacitor in my vehicle. Cool. Great. Um, these guys are our writers, Sir Phineas of Cloxenburg and Tapford Gifford. Mm, hello, lad. How do you do? Brits, huh? Delightful! The magnificent land that gave us such great writers like Shakespeare, Chaucer, and Rowling, and such spellbinding actors like Basil Rathbone, Laurence Olivier, and Boris Karloff. Tis an honor indeed, gentlemen. Oh, my, my, my. And who is this enchanting lass? <laughs> Tower girl? Charmed, my dear. For a moment I could have sworn I was gazing upon the stunning countenance of Julie Andrews. Ooh, I like him. Can we keep him? Uh, I'm Surfer Clock. Uh, good to meet you, sir. <laughs> the hardy to Tepchi's laurel. The habit to his costello. Oh, 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 I have awaited this day. I've listened to your podcast for some time now, and I think your boys are brilliant. <laughs> well, my dad was a radio Come, person. Come, my children, I'll take thee away. Shall we begin the tour? For starters, who can tell me when this stunning edifice was supposed to be erected? Oh, I know. Epcot, right between uh, the Imagination and Land Pavilions. Bzzz. Indeed, the Great Movie Rite was originally prepped for that very spot, but this replica from the original Grauman's Theater in Hollywood? <laughs> oh, that was always marked for this spot on opening day since May 1st, 1989. And it was Eisner who decided the whole behind-the-scenes-of-movie thing should be its own park, right? Oh, and Marty Sklar? Right you are, my boy. And frankly, why not? Is there a greater romantic escape into the realms of fantasy, adventure, and excitement than that of the silver screen? Television? Radio? Internet? Theater? Oh, <laughs> fine mediums, to be sure, to be sure. But for me, only the power and majesty of Hollywood is enough to bring a smile to my face. Now, as I was saying, when the suits at Disney decided to go all in for a movie theme park, uh, there was a problem. Disney was only really known for its animated movies and a uh, few live-action movies. So Disney signed a 20-year contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer to acquire the rights to more classic movies that people would recognize. Correct! Two for two, my boy! And I also believe Disney and Jim Henson came very close to designing a satire of the great movie ride as told by the Muppets, right? No, 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 no. Nobody who likes a know it all surfer clock reel it in. Now, shall we go inside? Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this hallway. See, I don't have the funds to acquire a lot of movie memorabilia, but when I do, I'm more than happy to display in the queue to share with the masses. But my favorite piece is Miss Poppins' carousel horse over here. And to get the public in the mood for classic cinema, I turn my own screening room here into a massive switchback queue room where they can watch clips from Alien, Fantasia, Casablanca, Mary Poppins, and a lot more. Uh, what about more modern movies? Ever try an upgrade? Oh, naturally, of course I do. Uh, but there's such a charm to the classic cinema, don't you think? Utter conviction, enthusiasm, simplicity, but don't get me wrong. I even love modern cinema. I love all of cinema. Even the Shyamalans, the Michael Bays, and the Ed Woods, the majesty of movies, to me, are far too great for me to even dislike. By the way, old Bean, what exactly came first, Disney or Universal? Does it matter? Regardless of whoever got the idea first, the world got two magnificent parts to celebrate movies. No kidding. Universal Studios is my second home. Now... Come on, you either get busy living or you get busy dying. Hop in, everyone! Uh, 
This isn't going to be some psychedelic trip into some really unnerving images, is it? I answer your question with another question. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Let's get this caravan moving, friends! Oi. To infinity and beyond! Ready when you are, CB! Better to start than at the dawn of cinema. The days of simplified slapstick, simplified stories, and even some of my most favorite actors Buster Keaton, Douglas Fairbanks, Lon Chaney, Harold Lloyd, Charles Chaplin, Rudolph Valentino! <laughs> uh, these men practically invented film art with exquisite comic timing. Where? I don't see them. Alas, my son, despite my best efforts, I was unable to acquire a section of this attraction to dedicate it to the silent era. Oh, bugger. That would have been splendid. <laughs> yes, yes, it would have. Instead, our horror begins us with a stunning display representing the 1933 classic Footlight Parade, featuring Busby Berkeley's immaculate choreography. But isn't that the same display that was played with maintenance issues for the first few years? <laughs> it is indeed. Yeah, and so they shut it off rather than fix it. Kind of like the Eddie at Expedition Everest. Do you ever stop talking? Ooh, sing in the rain. Oh, what a glorious feeling. Look, 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 it's my most favorite movie ever, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Remember you drove mom bonkers that one day when you were seven and kept watching it over and over? <laughs> my goodness, yes. Turn that rubbish off and let your brother have the telly tap, bud. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, is it customary to talk during a movie in England? I didn't think so. I'm thinking you need a spoonful of sugar, my good sir. How about a change of scenery instead? Perhaps the criminal underworld of the classic gangster movies. Holy Gotham, Batman! I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a... Look! Hidden Mickey poster! Good eye, Top G. You'll need to be astute and observant down on Skid Row. Mother of mercy, is this the end of Rico? I I'm sorry, Silver Clock? Mother of... I it's a quote. It's from 1930's gangster movie Little Caesar. I, I don't get it. Pizza, pizza. You know, because Little Caesar. <laughs> Excellent form, lad. You have the very wit of a young Groucho Marx. There's something off about this guy, Phineas. I think we need to look into this. Mm, I agree, lad. I don't care for his adulation he pours upon Tap G. Oop! <laughs> Dear me, a stoplight. We mustn't run red lights, even if it is just a movie. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. <laughs> this guy, seriously, how do you ever not laugh around him? Hey, yo! Pardon? Yeah, yous. What the funny looking Coney Island reject like you doing on our tape? <laughs> no, Muggsy. We both know that gun of yours is in the. Oh my, <laughs> that's new. You're talking to me? You're talking to me? <laughs> what do I look like? Any valiant? A wise guy, eh? Maybe you'll unnab me a hostage. What says ya? Oh, it's broken! Phineas! Now take that fancy car and book it before I pump it full of lead. You got it? She's it, boy! Come on me! Oh. <laughs> oh, that bit never gets old. You know, at this point, the ride is usually taken over by Muggsy, but this time... Are you mad? The gun-toting gangster has my brother! We have to go after him! Sorry, can't leave the vehicle, I'm afraid. Safety and all that. Well, we have to jolly well do something! I assure you, no one has ever died in a movie, but if it'll make you feel better, let me summon my Goomba Roombas. His what? Goomba Roomba Dumpity Dum Too bad for your Britishy chum Kidnapped by the mob, now alone Better Muzzy than Al Capone They'll take care of him. Now, off to our next genre, the Western. The days of the six guns, high noon, hombres, and offensive Native American stereotypes. Ah, uh, this must be your favorite, right, Top G? I mean, why, why else would you wear a cowboy hat? <laughs> you know, it's actually kind of a funny story. You see, hey, Silver Clock, you said something to Phineas about this loony? Yeah, you in? Absolutely. I'm gonna do a Google search on him. Tower Girl, what about you? Ooh, involvement. And then they named me their chief. <laughs> You're just full of surprises, aren't you? Hey, don't they also have a cowboy Jack the Ride here? Spot on, boy. It's the alternate storyline to the Muggsy taking over the tram. 
Really? Does Cactus Jack also commit kidnapping? Cowboy's not your thing? <laughs> well, let's be like Harrison Ford and Daniel Craig in an ad. Aliens? Oh, 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 I know this one. Um, uh, Spaceballs, uh, Star Wars, Lilo and Stitch, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Trek, Wrath of Khan. Gutting Watermer. It's Alien. <laughs> you must be a delight at birthday parties the way you ruin surprises. Oh, look, it's Ripley. Believe it or not. There's that rapier wit tongue of yours again. Wait, why does she look so terrified? Depends on how lucky you feel, punk. Suffolk, 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 I got something. It says right here. Ah! Ah! Tapford, where'd you go? Holy cow! E.T. just made soil and green out of him. What's your game, Hinkle? Please, we're on such formal terms. Call me Doc. Besides, it's quite possible that Her Majesty is up there trying to reunite the brothers. But if it'll make you feel better, I'll summon my men. Goomba, Roomba, Slickety Slick. What a sadistic alien trick. Sci-fi maybe wasn't his thing. Next time, maybe try Stephen King. <sighs> you think just sending in your Oompa Loompas will fix everything? <laughs> oh, but Surfer Clock, oh, I could have done far worse. But the brothers are gone! I assure you they are not. In fact, you could say, they're here. But enough of that. Let's continue the tour. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Like it hasn't been already? It's a trap! No kidding. Hey, Tower Girl, how's the search coming? Not much. There's not a lot of information about him online. <sighs> Well, keep looking. Poor Tapford. In space, no one can hear you scream. And Phineas. Hasta la vista. Oh, Captain, my Captain, what's next? Well, you've piqued my interest with all that talk of Harrison Ford and, uh, and Star Wars and aliens. So let's try... Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Aliens in Indiana Jones? <laughs> Who'd ever believe that? Well, would you believe that C-3PO and R2-D2 are among those ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs on your left. I think that's actually the timekeeper and push the talking trash can. Ooh, what's that? That child is a cursed jewel, which is set to destroy any poor soul which happens to be greedy enough to try to claim it. It's shiny. Tower Girl! Girl! No, stop, we don't come back. Tower! Ah! Shame, really. I tried to warn her. Where are you sending our friends? How should I know that? Dark forces seem to conspire against all your mates. Unfortunate, really. Oh well. Goomba, Roomba, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. That would have made a beautiful ring. Too bad now you're nothing but bones on a ride next to Indiana Jones. Well, no sense in mourning forever. Let's move on, shall we? Are we supposed to just move on after you axed off our writers and our fan? Are you mad? <laughs> Most everyone's mad here. In fact, you may have noticed I'm not all there myself. No kidding. Surfer Clock, I see dead people. Uh, are we in the horror movie section? Hey, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just streaming Walking Dead on my phone. <sighs> Animating the dead. What a fascinating concept. <clears throat> Awkward. Oh look, it's George of the Jungle? <laughs> oh, it's Tarzan, the classic brawny arboreal acrobat played by that renowned Olympic gold medal swimmer, Johnny Weissmuller. Hmm? Tony Goldwyn. You know, from the 1999 animated Disney movie? You raise a good point. It kind of feels like since Disney did the animated version that pretty much came and went, this scene kind of feels outdated. Oh, and George and the George of the Jungle gag? Yeah, I'm sure Brendan Fraser and Jay Ward aren't collecting a lot of royalty checks at this point. Point taken. And now, if you'll turn to the le 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 Reese, what's the deal? Oh, son of a... Just like Netflix, to send you a Scratch DVD. Great. That means we'll have to send this one back and request another one. That should take about Two three weeks. Days. What? Keeping up with the continuity? Well, I'm gonna go. I got other things to do. You coming? Dude, I have a two-gallon jug of soda and snacks with enough caloric value to make my doctor blow a gasket. Plus, I have just achieved maximum butt impression for ultimate comfort. 
my goings on for the next two weeks are going to be like Cameron's dad's car in Ferris Bueller. Fine, but don't come crying to me if you need to use the John. <laughs> and here's the part where Tap G goes berserk. Oh!